This is the Walls Protocol by Dr. Terry Walls, who claims to have reversed her secondary progressive MS using the modified paleo diet and other lifestyle changes. It is by far the most popular multiple sclerosis book ever written. In this video, I give you my review as a neurologist and my personal opinion. Let's have some fun. I'm Brandon Bieber. Please subscribe to my channel for weekly informational videos about MS every Wednesday. Now I should start by giving a little conflict of interest statement. Prior to reading the book, I was somewhat more biased in favor of more of a plant-based diet, something that perhaps Dr. Roy Swank or Dr. George Jelinek would recommend. However, I tried to be as open as possible. Also, I am the author of a book that is related to multiple sclerosis. It's not about diet. I'm not trying to compete with her. I'm just sort of putting that out there. Now, the first thing I should say is this is an incredibly well-written book. When I was reading the first 50 pages of the book, I was seriously thinking to myself, there's no way a doctor can write like this. No wonder it's such a popular book. And I didn't even realize that she actually had some help from Eve Adamson, who's a very established, very respectful author, who's helped a lot of nonfiction writers produce beautiful works. Now, that being said, this is not a ghost written book. I believe Eve Adamson just helped with the writing, not with the content. And I think Dr. Walls provided all of the content. And the content is amazing. Uh, she did amazing research. She's obviously very knowledgeable about nutrition. It's a tremendously well-cited book and an incredibly well-organized book. She has quotes from so-called Walls warriors, who are people who did the program and they report their positive results. At the end of every chapter, she summarizes the takeaways and how to exactly do each diet. She does a nutritional analysis of the three diets. And she does much more than just give dietary advice. She talks about stretching and exercise and some alternative treatments. It's an incredibly comprehensive book, and it's written in such a hopeful and enthusiastic way. Particularly at the beginning of the book, you really feel inspired to make a change in your life. So in that sense, it's an excellent book. Now, some of the advice that she gives in the book is completely unimpeachable. She advises exercise, stretching, avoiding processed foods, eating abundant fruits and vegetables, nine cups of fruits and vegetables in the two of the three diets, for example. No one would seriously disagree with that. Now, she also gives very specific advice about organ meats and achieving nutritional ketosis and things like that. Some of her book is evidence-based, but some of it is more speculative. For instance, she talks about how nutritional ketosis has proven benefits in epilepsy and talks about how that could confer advantages in brain health for other conditions, but she doesn't really cite any clear evidence for multiple sclerosis. And there are many examples of this, and the reason I mention it is because some things which make sense and are intuitive, for instance, uh, taking in nutrients that are known to function in the mitochondria in a disease that is known to have mitochondrial dysfunction, sometimes it doesn't necessarily pan out. Taking that nutrient doesn't necessarily benefit the condition. For example, taking calcium supplements does not necessarily prevent osteoporosis and fractures. But that being said, I think she does a good job trying to cite as much evidence as possible. Now, you know, one thing I have to say is I'm a natural spec a skeptic. And I've seen many, many patients, well over 100 patients, attempt the WALS protocol. And I personally have not seen anything spectacular like a reversal of longstanding disability. I've seen many people lose weight and improve overall health and improve their cholesterol profiles and have less fatigue. And these are, in fact, proven benefits of the diet in her study. And I don't think anyone would question that. But whether or not this diet can actually reverse a long-standing progressive disability in a typical person with progressive MS, I would question that and I would need to see further evidence of that. And it's just very difficult for me to get excited about one person's story, no matter how spectacular it is. I mean, how do we know that she didn't have an idiosyncratic, very good response to her program that the typical person would not experience? How do we know that the diagnosis of MS is even accurate? She describes her case in a somewhat unusual way, saying that she could have been diagnosed with idiopathic degeneration of the spinal cord until she had a positive spinal tap, kind of suggesting that maybe her brain MRI wasn't that typical of MS. I'm not saying she doesn't have MS, I have no idea, but it could be that her case is unique in some way such that her experience wouldn't necessarily apply to you or me. Um, you know, it's just hard for me to get excited about one person's response. 
Now, I think there's a lot of good advice in here. I think it's very inspirational. I think she does tremendous research. I learned a lot about nutrition just reading the book. If you want to do the Walsh Protocol, I would highly recommend buying the book. You'll be inspired. You'll understand the reasoning behind her recommendations, and it'll really get you going. And I think she gives a lot of good advice in terms of keeping a diary, keeping a positive mindset, managing stress, exercising, and most of her dietary advice is very sound. Is a plant-based diet better than the modified paleo diet that she recommends? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't think there's definitive evidence either way. She is doing a randomized study comparing her diet against the Swank diet, which is very interesting. I look forward to those results. She wrote a very nice review of both diets early in 2019, and she published that. You can search it on PubMed, where she really summarized the two diets. So that's all I have for you. If you have tried the Walls Protocol, please post in the comments below, tell us which diet you did and what your experiences were. I would be very interested to know.